Look how angry he is. Every time he talks, he's angry. Like this isn't an angry game. Sometimes you gotta be mad. Sometimes people make me mad and you've seen video of me. Um, I don't hold back, okay? But if, if there's that much anger, when he displays it, it's never about what's being done to the country. It's never about what you talked about, about how much things are costing you and how you can make ends meet. It's not about that inner city kids aren't getting a great education. It's not about that there's crime over the streets. It's about what's been done to him, poor me, victim me. Well, I don't think either one of those people are appropriate to be president. As I said off the top, that's why I'm running. There is not, if those two are the candidates, I don't believe that there's a winning alternative for America. And America needs to start winning again. And the only way we do is each, each one of you has a chance to win every day. That's the sort of attack by Chris Christie that probably seems to make sense at first glance. It seems like you are pitching Donald Trump as vengeful and emotional, wild, reckless. That seems like a good thing. But I also think that it's a demonstration of how Chris Christie sometimes has a pretty good strategy, but doesn't necessarily live when it's a little bit, um, you know, like he's, he's got to speak off the cuff, really deliver the message all that well. He started to do a good job there where he says he's just going to be focused on settling his scores. He doesn't think about the country or he doesn't think about you. He doesn't think about the country. He thinks about himself, but he didn't focus enough on that. He pitched Donald Trump as a guy who's angry and wants to settle scores but he seems to have forgotten that the vast majority of Republican voters like that about Donald Trump because they've been deluded in thinking that Donald Trump is rightfully angry. He's been targeted by the deep state for literally years. He should be settling his scores because there's so many elites coming after him. You need to also diffuse that. And I think that there are a couple of ways that Chris Christie could have done that, could do that in the future to really improve that answer. So first of all, he's got more personal experience with Donald Trump than any of these other contenders who are theoretically trying to take down Donald Trump. He could use that. Now, look, to some extent, maybe that would be considered rude or uncouth to point out, you know, uh, I toured the country with this guy for literally years and I never once heard him speak with compassion about, you know, the plight of regular conservatives or my God, you have no idea how much this guy talks about himself and he doesn't seem to even remember that there are constituents out there. You could use that sort of like personal experience. That would be one way to do it. Or you could really tie it into when he is pursuing these vendettas, he pitches it as this is going to help you. He's standing between you and the elites or whatever. But how often actually has it? And then run through some of the failures. And I don't mean like like blunders or embarrassments. I mean, times where in theory, Donald Trump could have delivered for the right, but didn't. That he did not deliver during his presidency on getting an immigration bill passed. That's something that Chris Christie talked about at a different point. That he didn't actually get the wall built. And that maybe that's because he was feuding with Nancy Pelosi. That's because he was wrapped up in all this needless legal nonsense because he decided to do things like firing uh, James Comey and that sort of thing. Like you have to link the fact that he's angry and he wants retribution to that's not going to help you and this is not a hypothetical. We've already been through this with Donald Trump for four years. I think that that sort of thing could really strengthen this. Now, Pitching him as like being angry in general and emotional definitely isn't enough because Republicans believe that being like full of anger is a good thing. But if he wanted to go even a step beyond my, the rest of my advice, he could take this in the direction of like where Donald Trump would take it and, you know, pitch him as being emotional, pick him as, pitch him as being whiny. He loves calling him a child. Tie the emotional outbursts into that. Like, and it's not just a thing of the word choice. This is very much about, are you mocking him? Are you condescending towards him? Are you trying to instill disdain for him in the audience? Now, nor look, look, objectively, I hate that sort of thing in American politics. I think it's way too common. But I also think that with the Trump base, it might be the only successful strategy for Chris Christie. So... Yeah, bring up the retribution, bring up the anger and all that, but you got to work on that message if you really want conservatives to buy it.